Let's take one more example on quartile deviation. Here you have the marks obtained by two students are given below. Find whose achievement is more stable and you have the marks of student 1 and 2. Student 1 is 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96 and 98. Whereas student 2 is 85, 86, 88, 89, 90, 91, 97, 98 and 99. So now we'll try to find out uh, whose achievement is more stable using quartile deviation. And how do we find quartile deviation? It is Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2 and for this we have to ensure the data is in ascending order. Okay. And here if you look at it, the data is already in the ascending order. So now we'll go and find what is Q3 and what is Q1 for both the students. So how do we find the Q3 and how do we find Q1? We know Q3 is nothing but 3 times of n plus 1 by 4th item. That is Q3 and Q1 is n plus 1 by 4th item. And what is n here? How many uh, subjects marks are available? N is basically 8. We have the marks of 8 subjects. So we'll find uh, Q, Q1 first of a student 1. So let me put it like this. Q1 of student 1. And how do we do it? It is n plus 1 by 4, say 8 plus 1 by 4, so it is 9 by 4. 9 by 4 says it is 2.25, 2.25th item. So how do we find that? Because if we go back, uh, here we have the uh, second item as 91 and the third item is 92 and we want to find the item which is in between that is 2.25 so how do we uh, do that and that can be done or that can be approached like this what is the second item we know second item is equal to 91 and we know third item is 92 and difference between these two is 1 right because the difference between these two that is 92 and 91 is 1 so what we can do is uh, we want to find out what is uh, 2.25 item that is to put it otherwise it is one fourth of the difference between 2 and 3 fine so we want to find one fourth of it so what we can do is uh, let's find the difference between these two that is 1 and we have to find out what is the 1 fourth of it. 1 fourth is nothing but 0.25. So 1 divided by 4 so it is going to give us the value as 0.25. So now we can say what is our quartile 1. Quartile 1 is nothing but 2.25th item and 2.25 item is nothing but the second item plus the value which you have calculated here which is 0.25 so what is the second item the second item is 91 91 plus 0.25 so that is going to be a quartile one of a student one which is 91.25 similarly let's also calculate the q3 what is Q3? Q3 is equal to 3 into n plus 1 by 4. So we have 3 into 8 plus 1 by 4. So 3 into 8 plus 1 by 4 is going to give us the value as 6.75 item. This is for student 1, right? So for student 1, what is the 6th item? Let's go and find. The 6th item is 95. 
and the seventh item is 96 but we want 6.75 item we want the 6.75 item so what what we have to do here is we have to capture the sixth item then the difference between the sixth and seventh item converted for 0.75 so what is the seventh item what is the sixth item the seventh item is 96 i believe the seventh item is 96 and sixth item is 95 so the difference between these two items are one and we have to find out what is 0.75 of it okay we have to find out what is the 0.75 of it so how do we do that its point uh, 75 can be derived by multiplying with 3 by 4 because 3 by 4 is going to represent 75 percent or 0.75 so if you want quartile 3 it is nothing but sixth item plus the difference between the sixth and seventh item multiplied by 3 by 4 and we know what is sixth item which is 95 so 95 plus 1 into 3 by 4 and it would give the value as 0.75 so thus we have quartile 3 value quartile 3 is 95.75 so we have quartile 1 and we have quartile 3 for student 1 similarly we have to do for a student 2 but before that uh, we have to finish off what is the quartile deviation we have just uh, the values so let's finish off the quartile deviation Quartile deviation of student 1 is Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2 and we know Q3 is 95.75 above 95.75 minus quartile 1 which we have already calculated is 91.25 divided by 2. So this is going to give us the value as 2.25. So our quartile deviation for student 1 is 2.25 and we can also calculate the coefficient of uh, quartile deviation which is nothing but q3 minus q1 divided by q3 plus q1 which is 95.75 minus 91.25 divided by 95.75 plus 91.25 and here the value is 0. 0 to 4. This is about student 1. The same way let us do for student 2. Student 2, we have to find the quartile deviation. For that, we need quartile 1. Quartile 1 is n plus 1 by 4. We have n is equal to 8. 8 plus 1 by 4, that is 9 by 4. We have to trace out the 2.25th item. And going back to the question, our the second item was 86. And between second and third item, this 0.25 will be lying. And uh, the third item is actually 88. So let me capture those numbers here for quick reference. I mean the series of uh, student 2. That is the marks of student 2 is basically 85, 86, 88, 89, 91, 97, 98 and 99 and we want to find out the quartile 1. Quartile 1 is 2.25 item that is lying between these two and we know the second item is 86 and we have to find out what is the difference between these two. The difference between these two works out to 2. This 2 out of 2, we have to find out the 25% of 2 that is going to be 0.5, I believe. Let's see how it can be done. Quartile 1 is now nothing but the second item, which is 86, okay, which is 86 plus the difference between these two, that is 88 minus 86, but we are interested in only taking the 25% of it, right? We are interested in taking only 25% of it. So what we can do is... Uh, we can multiply this with 25 percent or you can make it like this into 1 by 4 so it is going to be 86 plus 
88 minus 86 that is 2 into 1 by 4 that is 0 0.5. So it is going to be 86.50. So this is the quartile 1. So we have quartile 1 is equal to 86.50. The same way let us calculate quartile 3. Quartile 3 is equal to 3 into n plus 1 by 4 which is 3 into 8 plus 1 by 4 and we are going to get the value as 2.75. I'm sorry, the value is going to be uh, 6.75 because we have to multiply with uh, 3 and this is not 2.75, it is 6.75. So what is our sixth item? Our sixth item is 97 and our seventh item is 98. So our quartile 3 is going to be 97 plus we have to find out this difference. On this different, we have to apply 75%. And the difference is actually 1. So 75% is 0.75. So quartile 3 is going to be simple. It is sixth item, which is 97, plus the difference between these two, that is 98 minus 97, multiplied by 75%, or you can say multiplied by 3 by 4. So this would uh, give the value as 97 plus 0.75. So you will have quartile 3 as 97.75. Where quartile 1 is 86.5, quartile 3 is 97.75. So quartile deviation should be simple. It is quartile 3 minus quartile 1 by 2, which is 97.75. 75 minus 86.50 divided by 2 and it is 5.625 and what about the coefficient coefficient of uh, quartile deviation is going to be 97.75 minus 86.50 divided by 97.75 plus 86.50 and this will give you the value is 0.061. So now you have the quartile deviation and coefficient of uh, quartile deviation of both the students. So we'll write that student 1 and student 2. We have two students, student 1 and student 2. Student 1, let's capture the quartile deviation, also the coefficient of quartile deviation. So what is the quartile deviation of student 1? It is 2.25. Whereas quartile deviation of student 2 is 5.625. And coefficient of quartile deviation of student 1 is 0 0.024. Whereas student 2 is 0 0.061. Now from this table, what is that we can infer? From this table, we can infer that mark of the first student is more stable because, because you don't have much of deviation, whereas here the deviation is very high for student 2. So the mark of first student is more stable because here your quartile deviation is lesser and because of that your coefficient of quartile deviation is also less. So you can attribute the coefficient of quartile deviation and quartile deviation since they are lower or lesser when compared to student 2, we can say the mark of student 1 is more stable.